Hi, uh, today I want to share with you another summer project. It is triangle shaped top, uh, which is tied on the back of the neck. So if you are interested in knitting this one, keep watching. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel and leave a thumb up. Okay, let's knit. I will be using Panettone yarn from Hobby. It is 87% cotton, 7% polyamide and 6% metallic fiber. It is recommended to use 4.5 mm needles. There is uh, 120 meters of yarn in 50 grams. This is color number 10. I will be using 4 mm needles. Uh, these ones are circular needles, but you can use straight ones as well. We will start by casting on 24 stitches. First, you need to make a loop like this and then slide this on the needle and pull it. Now cast on 24 stitches. Don't count the first loop. So take your yarn under your thumb and index finger, just like I'm showing to you right now. Put your needle under and over the yarn and pull the thread. Do this 24 times. I've casted on 24 stitches. First and the last stitch are edge stitches. In the middle, we will be working in two by two rib stitch. That means two knit stitches and two purl stitches and repeat. Okay, let's knit the first row. Slide first edge stitch. Now knit two stitches. Insert your needle from the left to the right. Take the yarn from the back and pull through loop. And second knit stitch. Now two purl stitches. Take the yarn to the front. Insert your needle from the right to the left. Take the yarn and pull through loop. And second purl stitch. Now two knit stitches. And again two purl stitches. And two knit stitches. Keep going with the two by two rib stitch till there are two stitches left on the needle. Knit the stitch and this is our first loop which we didn't count at the beginning. So slide it from the needle. And now knit the second row with me. Turn the project and slip the first edge stitch. Now purl two stitches, knit two and keep going with the two by two rib stitch. Now you can see the difference between purl and knit stitches. Purl swans have a yarn at the front. Purl three last stitches. First two rows are completed. Now we will start increasing. We will add two stitches on the right side of the project. In every second row. Place marker after first three stitches and before last three stitches.
slide first edge stitch and knit two stitches. Now take the yarn between two stitches and place it on the needle. And knit. Keep knitting 2x2 two two rib stitch after marker. Stop before second marker. Now again take the yarn between two stitches and place it on the needle, but insert your needle from the other side. Knit through back loop, slide marker, knit last three stitches. Turn the project. Slide first loop, purl 2, slide marker, knit 1 and continue working with rib stitch. We will be increasing in every second row, so in this row we are only working on stitches that we have on needles. And let's go to the next row. But first I need to move my marker because I've made a mistake. We should increase after first marker, not before it. And again, slide first stitch, knit two, slide marker and increase again. Knit one and keep going with rib stitch. Stop before second marker. Add one more stitch. Slide marker, knit 3 stitches. Now it is time for row without increases. Slide first stitch, purl 2, marker, purl 2 and keep knitting. And next row with increasing. Slide first stitch, knit two, marker. And now again, take the yarn between two stitches and place it on the needle. But this time we are going to purl this stitch. Continue with two by two rib stitch. Stop before second marker. And again, add another stitch and purl it. Another row without increasing. Slide first stitch, purl 2, marker, knit 1 and keep going with 2x2 two two rib stitch. And again next row with increasing. And as you probably figured this already out, now I will purl additional 2 stitches. So I already add 6 stitches, 
It is important to continue working on 2x2 two two rib stitch, so it is necessary to add 2 knit stitches and then 2 purl stitches. Keep working by increasing 2 stitches in every second row. Okay, I'm back after a while. Uh, this is how the top is looking. I've got 180 stitches on the needles. And now we will bind off stitches, but first we need to prepare them. So we will make additional two rows. Knit two first stitches together. Purl third stitch. Slide marker. Knit one. Insert needle through back loop in next two stitches and slide them from the needle. Slide it back on the left needle. Keep the yarn at the front. Slide next stitch and knit one. Again, yarn on the front and slide another stitch. And repeat, knit one, insert needle through back loop in next two stitches and slide them from the needle. Slide it back on the left needle. Keep the yarn at the front, slide next stitch and knit one. Again, yarn at the front and slide another stitch. And keep working just like that and stop after second marker. Knit two together and purl last stitch. Turn the project. Knit first stitch, purl one. Slide marker. Slide next stitch, purl one. Again, slide next stitch and purl. And repeat. Okay, after last row, it is time to cast off all stitches, so cut the yarn and thread the needle. Insert the needle from the right to the left, like if you want to purl stitch.
Now insert the needle between two stitches from the back. Insert the needle in second stitch left like if you want to knit this stitch. Insert in the first loop and slip it from the needle. Insert the needle from the right to left in second stitch, like if you want to purl this stitch. And repeat this in first stitch and you can slide it from the needle. And that is all. Now we need to repeat these four steps till we cast off all stitches. Watch this one more time. I bind off all the stitches and now it is time to knit the top part. I need to cast on these 24 stitches. Take a yarn and another pair of 4mm needles. Insert the needle through and take the yarn. Do this 23 more times. Okay, I have 24 stitches casted on and now I put this on the side. Get another pair of needles, cast on 3 stitches. Knit first row. Knit 
purl second row. Now we will be increasing in every second row till we have 15 stitches on the needles. So slide first stitch, make an increase, knit one, make another increase, and knit the last one. We will be adding stitches after first and before last stitch in every second row. Purl next row. And now it is row with increasing again. After I reached 15 stitches on the needle, I work back and forth knitting and purling stitches. Now I have about 28 centimeters. And now it is time to join this part to the rest of the top. Slide first stitch on left needle and knit these two together. Then knit all stitches. Turn back. Purl all stitches and stop before last one. Purl two together. And repeat. Slide first stitch on left needle and knit these two together. Then knit all stitches. Turn back, purl all stitches and stop before last one. Purl two together. Keep working like this. After joining together both of this part, I've knitted another 26 centimeters and now we will be casting off stitches. We will be decreasing two stitches in every second row so we can get the same shape like at the beginning of the strip. Slide three stitches.
put two of them on the left needle and knit them together. Knit rest of the stitches and stop before last three. Knit two together. Knit last stitch. And repeat till you have three stitches left. I have only 3 stitches left, knit 2 together, put this loop on the left needle again and knit 2 together again. Pull the thread through last loop. And that's all. Now you can wash and block this top. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and leave a thumb up. Thanks and see you next time.